Hey everyone, I'm Lauren from My Something Beautiful Life and I am so excited today because I get to show you one of the new Clever Fox planners and this is the Budget Planner Binder. Clever Fox sent this to me for free in order to share it with you and I just can't wait to jump into it and show you everything that's inside. So a little while ago, Clever Fox did come out with their weekly planner in a binder system like this and I do actually have that to show you in another video as well but I know their budget planners have always been one of the more popular items that they sell and so I definitely wanted to share this one with you first especially since it's one of their newer products so the binder itself is about seven by nine inches as you can see right here the pages inside of it are closer to a5 size they are not exactly a5 but if you have a5 inserts they will definitely fit and they won't stand out too much in here so this is just a normal piece of A5 paper that I got from Amazon. This is a standard A5 size. So you can see that the holes for the rings do line up exactly. And if you measure from the top to bottom, it's pretty identical. There's not really a whole lot of difference in that direction. The only place you're gonna find the difference is side to side. There's about a quarter of an inch, really not more than that. So the Clever Fox inserts are just a little bit less wide than a normal A5, but other than that, they are really close. And so all of your A5 inserts will fit in this planner as well. So the color I chose is hot pink, and it is a vegan leather material, which is just really smooth. I love the feel of it. The planner itself feels really well made, and inside this front pocket, you have a zipper here, and it moves very smoothly. There's no issues with that. You have two pockets on this side and then you have some card pockets over on this side as well and then a larger one in the back. And then also in the very back of the planner, you have a pocket right here. And then if you wanted to tuck something back there, you also could do that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out this little protector. Okay, so as you can see, it does pop up a little bit right now, but it's not too bad. And I do think that with time, it will sit down flat. In fact, I think if you opened it, it would probably actually sit even a little better. Yeah, it still pops up a little bit, but it's really not as bad as some of them that I've had. And as you can see, it does come with some stickers, which I always like when they include the stickers. So you have three sheets here, and then you also have their little warranty card that just explains their return policy, and this getting started guide, just in case you need some help knowing how to use any of the pages, they include this guide with all of their planners. So I'm gonna set this all to the side and we can flip through it. So for those that have been following me, you know that I actually keep my budget in an A5 rings planner. I've been doing this since January and I have been really loving this system. I love having something like rings for my budget planner just because it gives me the flexibility to change out pages and add more pages in as necessary. I think our finances and our budgets are just ever changing. So having the flexibility to add in pages or change things up as I go has been really helpful. And so I love that. And that's one reason why I'm particularly excited about this planner, because I love that they put it in the rings planner. So the first thing that we have here is a plastic flyleaf. This is frosted and I think it's just to protect the pages, but you definitely could decorate it, put some stickers on it, something like that. If you wanted to just make it a little bit more fun or decorative, we have our title page and then it goes into your goals. And I know I've mentioned this in other videos where I've reviewed Clever Fox products. Clever Fox planners always incorporate goals into their planners and I love that especially in an area with finance, you definitely need to know what your goals are so that you know how to budget your money. They also start at the beginning with some reflection questions that you can fill out to just kind of give you an idea of what you actually want your money to be doing for you. So you have here your strategy and your tactics to follow through. And then it jumps right into the months. One thing that I love about this over my current budget system is that it has the monthly calendar. I love being able to see my monthly bills all on a calendar format. It really helps me to understand when things are due. My brain just works easier that way. And then also up here we have some spaces. So there's monthly goals, a to-do list, bills and expenses, income and savings. And then you also have a space for notes over here. I really think this is a great overview page for when you are beginning to set up your budget for each month. And then of course we get into our monthly budget page. In this particular planner, they have broken down each of the budget areas into different categories for life. If these categories don't work for you, I think they would be really easy just to change them out, which is normally what I do because normally when there's categories like this, it doesn't work with the way I budget, but it's not so structured that this can't be altered to fit 
But aside from having those categories just pre-written out, I do think this is actually a really good budget form with the budgeted, the actual, and the difference categories. And I very much appreciate that they did not fill in each of the individual lines with bills that they think people have because I know everybody's bills vary so differently. My bills rarely fit when they pre-fill in those lines and so I appreciate that they were left blank for that reason. After that, we do get four pages of expense trackers. This is also a crucial part of when I budget. I like to keep track of how much money is in my account on paper. This is also how I check which areas of my budget that I am over or under spending in because I can categorize these areas and I can go through and check at the end of the month which areas I have spent money in and how much and if I need to adjust that for the next month. And then at the very end of each month, we have a monthly review. And I think this is a very important part of budgeting to look at what you have done so that you know what you need to change for the future to better reach your financial goals. After the monthly review, you do actually even get two pages of notes, which also is extremely helpful to me because I always have little random things that I'm writing down that I want to remember for my budget. Usually there are things that came up that don't normally come up and so I need to keep track of them so I know which month they happened in. And if I didn't write them down somewhere, then usually that's when I want to reference them later and I can't find it again. One thing that has definitely been helpful for me as I've been budgeting is to make sure that I write down all of the little details, even with things that I think I would remember, but then I don't next month and I wish I had written them down. Numbers get confusing really fast, and so I appreciate that they left some note pages in with each month. And then it just moves on to the next month. One of the things I wish they had included in this was monthly tabs to separate each month. But then again, if you wanted to add them in, it would be easy to do just by putting them in between these notes pages. Then you could use this page for the coming month and this page for the previous month. You would still have two notes pages for each month. They would just be separated. Or you could use smaller dividers and just put them in the calendar so you would know where to flip to. So it's still possible because it is in a binder system, but if I had had my choice, I would have loved if they had included that already in it, but that's definitely something that I can work around. So this is a 12 month planner and it is undated. So you just go through each of the 12 months. Each month will change in color. And so that makes it easier just to tell them apart. And then at the very end, let's see. Okay, so here's the last month, the budget, the expense checkers and review and notes pages. We get into some savings trackers and you have four pages of these and there's room for two of them on each sheet. So you get a total of eight savings trackers. Each of these sections has 12 lines, so you can add to it once a month and have room to write it down. And if you do add to your savings more than once a month, then I would just start at the top and then just continue on for each page. After the savings trackers, then you get some similar looking pages that are for debt trackers. Same thing here, if you make a debt payment more than once a month, then I would just start at the top of the page. Otherwise, you do have space to add one payment per month in each of these little half sections. So you have eight of those also. Oh, you have more of those. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pages of debt trackers. And then the next page that we have is for holiday planning. So we have a holiday budget, holiday gifts, and holiday spending. This does seem to be an area where people spend more money throughout the year than in other areas. So I love that they took that into consideration and you can keep these pages with your regular budget so all of your money and financial information is all together. The next page we have is the regular bill tracker. This is really awesome for looking at how your bills change during the month. At least something I've been noticing is that a lot of my bills tend to go up. And if this isn't something that you're paying attention to, you may not be noticing that they're adding a few dollars every couple months or even a larger jump. And so I think this page is really helpful to be able to look at that and you can see how each of your bills are changing and then maybe negotiate with the companies for lower rates or just find other ways to decrease those bills. Then we also have a summary of the year. And similarly, this is like the bill tracker, except while this one just keeps track of what you paid throughout the year for specific bills, this one can keep track of the categories that you were spending money in. They do have a few that are already listed here, 
but then there's tons of room for including any other ones that you might have. And similarly, this is a good way to keep track of how you're spending money throughout the year to see if your groceries are going up, if the price of gas is going up, which that tends to do also, and just get an overview of how this is changing over the year. I find this very helpful and it can help you as you're planning your budget in the future, whether it be the next month or so or the next year, just to be able to see how things changed over the course of the year or even month to month. And then at the very end, we have a few extra note pages. Clever Fox planners always include note pages at the end of their planners, which I appreciate because there's always little things that come up that you need to write down. And so I just love having that extra note space to keep track of all those little details. Especially helpful in something like this binder system, you could actually even take out these pages and put them throughout the month if necessary. Say you had a special event that you were planning and just needed extra space to work out the finances for that, you can take one of these pages, put it within the month, and then it will be right there with all of the rest of your budgeting for that month. And then at the end, we also have another one of those flyleaf protector pages. And I'm also really excited that in this budget binder, they included these budget sheets and the budget envelopes. And they punched them to stay in the binder, but because they are also smaller, they could also fit in your wallet. Or if you have an A6 personal size planner, you could probably take these out and put them in there. I don't know if the ring holes will line up exactly, but that's also an option if you needed to take them on the go with you and didn't want them in this planner particularly. But I love that this is part of the system because this is such an important part of budgeting. These little budget sheets are especially one of my favorites. So you can set your grocery budget or a spending money budget, which is usually what I need it for. You put your opening balance at the top and then you can track each of the items that you spend in that category and it can help you stay on track with your budget, which I really appreciate. This is actually something that I have used in my own budgeting and so I was really excited to see these because this is something I already do. You get 12 of these little sheets. They are different colors that match with the months and they are double sided. So you can either do it as one ongoing list from front to back or you could have two different categories. I would love it too if they came out with these as a separate purchase where you could order more because these I find very, very helpful and I love them. And then of course the cash envelopes, which I'm actually going to open this to show to you because these are really cool. These were different than what I was expecting. Online, they do show that they don't rip very easily. And the reason for that is they're not paper. I was thinking these were paper envelopes and they are actually a very thin plastic. So it's almost the thickness of paper so they don't get too bulky but they are in fact plastic and so they should be really durable and hold up over time. I even wonder if you could use like a wet erase or a dry erase marker on this to mark the numbers for each month. If not, a Sharpie would work. So there's always that as an option and they do have enough space for the whole year. And there are also 12 of these envelopes. So you could do one per month or you could set each one to a different category. I know some people do monthly savings challenges and so these would be great envelopes for that. Or if you have sinking funds, they could also work for that. Or if you just do cash spending. I love these envelopes. I'm really impressed with them. I think the colors are so pretty. And just the fact that they fit into the back of this binder just makes me even happier. And if you have any questions about this planner or any of the Clever Fox planners, please leave them in the comments below and I will get them answered for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.